Hello, thanks very much for joining me again. Today's project that we're looking at is one of these I've already done. Now, when you look at it, um, you'll think, oh, that's a, a mill of some kind, a pepper mill. Well, you're not too far um, adrift. It's actually a grater, um, but something a little bit different. And to be honest, I like something a bit different. The first thing you'll see is it's got a hole in the side. Um, it's actually a nutmeg grater. Um, and these kits are a little bit unusual. Um, nutmeg, I have to say, um, if you haven't tried it, if you, if you have an egg custard tart and you see what's grated on the top, that's nutmeg on the top. It can be used for sweet stuff, it can be used for savoury stuff, it's got a fabulous aroma um, and a lovely flavour as well, quite a distinctive and unique flavour. And this is probably something that most people more than likely don't have in the kitchen so um, if you're at craft fairs I think that would generate some interest. Um, just temporarily staying on the subject of nutmegs because somewhere here, here we go these are from Tesco they're easy to get um, there's the nutmeg they're all pretty much the same size um, round about the widest um, diameter across is around about 21 um, millimeters that's quite important when it comes to the hole in the side um, in a bit. So um, these, I think, were a pound. They're not, the, the, the ingredients aren't expensive, um, but you do need something quite special to um, actually grate them. Um, and you will see here, obviously, we've got a handle on the top, the hole in the side where the nutmeg goes, and the grater plate at the bottom, which is inset. And the way they work, if I, I don't, Hopefully you might be able to see that. There's a spring in there. I'll show you the bits of the kit in a minute. But there's a spring in there. Uh, and basically this handle lifts up. It's got some prongs on it. You put your nutmeg in there. The prongs actually hold the nutmeg down. And you turn that. And the nutmeg um, grates at the bottom. And now I've made a mess all over my lathe. Right. Let's talk about how we're going to make the kit. Um, and to be honest, the most important parts uh, of the kit is the drilling. Um, the, the drilling and the dimensions really are quite important. I'm going to do um, an 85 millimeter kit, which is roughly this height. Um, if you want to make it longer, you can, but you have to extend the bottom bit only. So you can make this bit as long as you want, but the longer you make it, the further you'll have to drill. So potentially the more difficult it's going to be. But I'm going to show you this kind of basic model to start with. Now, why is the drilling so critical? Basically, it's because, let me get the kit and then I can show you the bits that, that are involved. Um, the handle is, it's quite a nice stainless steel handle on the top. Um, that's fairly straightforward. My apologies for the rustling. Right. So we have got, here's the grinder plate with the screws and the fitting bits, um, and here is the inside part. Now, and the spring is obviously on there, which is held in by the handle that goes on the top. It's really important when you're assembling these that you don't get these prongs to go in far enough to actually scrape on the grinder, on the, um, the plate because basically they'll just ruin the plate. So it has to sit just a, a roughly level with the, with the top um, of the plate, not the, not the bottom of the plate where the actual um, grinding happens. Um, hopefully that makes sense. Um, but you also need a, enough tension to pull up, to put enough pressure on the nutmeg to make sure it um, actually grates properly. So it's a little bit technical, um, I like that kind of thing um, but of course we have full dimension diagrams on the website which you can refer to um, I've got a whole host of drills here um, and we're going to start off with the drilling once the drilling is done and you've got the basic blank the the right size and the drilling is done it's turning between centers and it's absolutely dead easy now the drills you'll see me use today um, you don't have to have all of the drills okay so I've got a seven millimeter drill this is quite a long one and we do sell these if you ever need an extended seven millimeter drill I've got a 12 millimeter drill 25 millimeter drill 
30 millimeter drill and a 45 millimeter drill um, to be honest you could probably um i think you probably manage with a 7 mil and a 25 mil the rest of them you could probably um cut by hand you might even do the 25 mil by hand um, but they're quite common sizes 45 mil isn't a common size but that is only the very bottom bit here so you can quite easily cut that out on the lathe with a with a um a chisel a normal lathe chisel if you wanted to um if you wanted to do that um and i also use which i haven't got here yet and all that's just for putting the, the pilot um holes in for the screws in the bottom so that's what we're going to start with um i'm starting with a blank that is 60 mils um square and it is 85 mils long that's going to make this type kit here and this particular bit I think is cherry um, so the first thing I'm going to do is to just turn this round so I can mount it um, in a chuck and then I can do the drill and I'll film the drilling as I normally do on the lathe now because of the piece of wood I've started with, I've turned this round first um, before drilling the hole in the side. You can do it either way. To be honest, if you want to, if you've got a nice, perfectly square blank, it's probably easier to drill the side hole first before you put it on the lathe. But because this bit was all a bit lopsided, I wanted to put it on the lathe and get it flush. So what I'm now going to do is to set this um, in a little vise on the pillar drill, I'm going to drill a 25 millimeter hole the correct distance up here. Um, and that is for the nutmeg to go into. I'm going to drill it roughly half the way through. Um, roughly half away um, to be honest when you start drilling this way um, the two holes will meet up which is what they need to do so just to stress that again I've turned mine round now I'm going to drill my hole but you might well prefer to drill your hole if you've got a nice square flat blank to start with to drill your side hole first before you start any turning so you will find um, on the um, assembly details all the measurements um, on here. I've forgotten my, I haven't got a print here at the moment, so mine's on my phone. But you can see the side hole is drilled with the centre 30 mils up from the base um, of the um, of the blank, um, and it's 25 millimetres in diameter. So that, that's what I'm going to drill now on the pillar drill the other side of the workshop. I'm now going to drill all the holes the relevant length through the body of this um, and I'm going to rather than actually talk about the size I'll put them up at the bottom so you can see the sizes and depths and they'll match the instruction or the guide fitting guide sheet um, on the website so we'll just crack on with that now. So now we're all drilled, we can actually check to see that everything fits okay. Um, and actually you can do that before you even finish the turning if you want to, to make sure everything's okay, just in case you need to adjust anything. So we'll do a quick test fit. I've got my shaft with my spring. At this point, I'm gonna tell you, mind your fingers, I'm gonna press it in the middle here. These points are quite sharp. Um, so we'll pop it in there and you'll see um, when it goes through, um, the, the action of the spring and what actually happens now is with the handle the handle actually has a thread in it and if I can do this whilst the camera's running it will thread on like so ow that hurt my finger you might want to use a cloth or something like that um, until the handles there there's a, there's a little knob that goes on the top just to tidy that up and you can see now the um, hopefully come on camera focus on that um, there we've got the three prongs at the bottom and the grinder plate itself will fit on it fits on that way so when it's upside down the grinder plate fits with this part on the inside so it's like a little hat fitting in there and the idea is that the nutmeg 
when it goes in the hole falls into that hopefully that makes sense it does to me anyway before i start using this i've just leveled leveled it up to make sure it is spinning absolutely flush i will now pop it on and away we go I'm just going to put some sanding sealer on it just inside there inside nothing at all the food shouldn't come into contact with any part of the wood just make sure you get the dust down so that's the main thing to um to do really um and we'll just put some of this on hopefully keep it quite a nice light color obviously when you're turning it just beware when you're turning it there's a hole in there so that might potentially hurt your fingers if you get them in the way the screws, one of which I've just dropped behind the lathe, um, are 2.6 millimetres, so we need a 2 millimetre pilot hole in the bottom here to secure the, the, uh, the greater place. So we're now pretty much finished. What we're going to go on to now is assembly, and you would think um, you would put the bottom plate on first, but you don't. What you must do is actually put all your internals in first, and then the greater plate goes on the bottom. Forgive me if I keep calling it a grinder plate. I'm easily confused. Right, so I've pushed my um, shaft up through there. I'm now going to screw the handle on the top and it only goes so far. Remember, it will stop there like that. And we've got a little locking nut just to tidy up on the top. Like so, this is slightly fiddly and I don't want to drop it and lose something else behind the lathe. So there we have our handle on the top. Now what we need to do is screw a greater plate on the bottom, like so. And the one thing I haven't brought over is a screwdriver. It's just a tad fiddly. Go, they're going in now and then we've actually finished the kit and you'll see how easily those screws go in when I've got the correct size pilot hole there we go and what we now need to do is to pop a nutmeg in and the way you do that is you lift this up there pop your nutmeg in and that will drop down, grab the nutmeg and then grate it on the plate at the bottom. I think we might go into the kitchen for that. So there we go, if the measurements are correct what should happen is I can turn that handle and you won't hear any scraping of the prongs on the bottom plate and if I can, you can lift that up and you can see that the prongs go up to the top so I can pop my nutmeg in there we'll go and pop a nutmeg in there in the kitchen and then grate a bit so you can see it so here's the finished grater pull the handle up it's quite stiff pop the nutmeg in the hole it'll grip the nutmeg and then we can turn it on the grater and there you can see it coming out the bottom There is the finished kit. Um, thanks ever so much for watching. I hope that's helpful. Uh, I'm going to stress again, the measurements are really quite important with this one, but you get quite a different and unique little product. Uh, to be honest, I absolutely love it. Um, I've thoroughly enjoyed making that. I enjoy making the prototype as well. Um, hopefully you will too. Um, until next time, whatever it is you do in your workshop, box making, wood turning, um, enjoy it and do it safely. Bye bye for now. We'll see you soon.